Well, good morning. We're going to have another devotion today. And I know uh, that for us, it has been a blessing for us to, to come and visit you every couple of days through these online uh, devotions. And I hope that they've been a blessing to you and to your parents as we do these children's devotions. And just a couple of days ago, we opened up our Bible to Hebrews chapter 12. It's one of my favorite passages in the Bible. And so we're going to go back to that same passage in verses 1 and 2 of Hebrews chapter 12. And it says there, Therefore, since we also have such a large cloud of witnesses surrounding us, let us lay aside every hindrance and the sin that so easily ensnares us. Let us run with endurance the race that, is, that lies before us, keeping our eyes on Jesus, the source and perfecter of our faith, for the joy that lay before him, he endured the cross, despising the shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Well, uh, a couple days ago, we looked at these verses, and we talked about how we have such a great cloud of witnesses surrounding us. And those are the, your family members, those that you are in contact with day in, day out, uh, because you, they, they're watching you, and you are uh, uh, in this all together. And so... Uh, we talked about that just a couple of days ago. Today, I want to share with you the next phrase in that these verses. It says, let us lay aside every hindrance or encumbrance or burden that you might be carrying. Lay aside every burden and the sin that so easily ensnares us. So I, I want to ask you, what is a burden that you are carrying? Landry, what's a burden that's in your life right now? What's something that's really hard for you? No friends, no teachers, or no actual teachers. Yeah, yeah. So it's really hard not seeing your friends daily and not having your teacher uh, there in the same room as you. You're having to do everything on, by a computer. What about you, Amelia? What's something that's really hard for you right now? Um, no. Um, working on a computer and... Stay with your parents for days and days and days. All right, so days the... And <laughs> days and days and days and days and days. I don't know what she's talking about. It's a joy to be in the same room with me for days and days and days. But doing the digital learning is hard for some. For some, they kind of enjoyed it. Uh, but probably for the majority of you, uh, doing your classwork by computer and not being in the classroom has been very very hard uh, and so that could be a burden and being cooped up in the same house with the same people over and over and over and for really days and days and days and days and days and days and, days and, days and, days and so on okay that that is a burden and that is something that makes life really hard and the Bible tells us to lay that aside, to not uh, worry or to uh, fix our attention on that. We're actually to our, fix our attention on the author and perfecter of our faith. That's Jesus. So instead of focusing your attention on your troubles and the things of this world, fix your attention on Jesus. But not only your troubles and the hard things of life. It talks about sin. Sin is what separates us from God. You know, God loves you, and he desires to have a, a relationship with you. But your sin is what keeps you apart from him. And so it's very important that we confess our sins, and we ask for forgiveness, and we repent. The first thing to do about that is to ask Jesus to come into our heart and to forgive us of our sins and become Lord of our lives. So if you've never done that, then you need to talk to mom and dad about how you can ask Jesus to come into your heart. And then after you do that, you need it daily, constantly. Ask him to forgive you when you mess up, because we all mess up. And so don't focus on the hard stuff in life. Don't focus on your sins. Keep your eyes on Jesus. And we're going to talk about him when we come back to our, this passage in, in the days to come. And let's pray, and we will see you guys soon. Father, thank you for loving us. Thank you for sending your son, Jesus, who uh, died for us. Thank you for uh, giving us the opportunity to invite him into our lives. And I pray, Lord, that we will... Focus on him and not on the things of this world and not the temptation and the sins of this world, but help us to keep our eyes on Jesus. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. Adios, amigos.